two, one, and liftoff. Three, it's a long time coming. I think the league has wanted the Browns to be over there. The Browns have a worldwide Browns backers group. What? You don't know that, but it's true. Two, it's potentially embarrassing. You're going to go over there and you're going to get outscored. You're going to probably get shut out. They'll see more scoring in their soccer league than they will in, when the Browns play. And number one, it's hard for them to contest. When you look at the home crowds, how are they going to turn to the league and say, you're costing us a big gate and a great event for our home fans? Nobody even shows up anymore. Listen, by the way, you're talking like they're going to be as bad in 2017 as they are in 2016. Have you looked at the roster? They're going to draft people. Listen, Sashi Jr., I know that they drafted people this they're year, going, too. They're going to draft. Number three, it's educational. You know, you can take the guys to the Tower of London. Oh, you can God. teach them about the president of England or whatever they have over there. It's a great <laughs> opportunity. Uh, number two, it's one fewer chance for orange seat jokes, right? I don't know what color the seats are over there, but people won't be making orange seat jokes. Number one, potential language problem. You got to teach the guys to speak British. The for a president day. of England. You know as know. much about politics internationally I love as England. I do I about love college London. football. I love London. I got to go to the Olympics there. It was lovely. I hope the Browns have a great time. Oh, they will until the game starts. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.